What's up everybody? Victoria home prices are back to 2021 levels, but as you'll see in a moment, that could soon change. Lots of big news recently with the election and interest rates. So I wanna take a moment in this video to zoom out a bit on Victoria home prices and give you some perspective of where we're at, how we got here, and maybe what's coming around the corner. The big gains made in late 2021 and 2022 were gone, but I think there's some interesting data here that I shows where the bottom of the market maybe was and that we've now moved past that. Let's start with single family detached homes. The median home price as of November, 2024 is just under 1.15 million, which puts us back around September, 2021 prices. Now prices have been up and down a few times since then, but they consistently come back and the median home price never dipped below a million dollars. This shows really good resilience for detached home prices and I think we're past the bottom of the market and with lower interest rates, my prediction is that prices are either going to remain flat or start to improve. There's a lot of predictions out in Toronto and markets in Eastern Canada that aren't as optimistic, largely because they have an 8.2% unemployment rate. Victoria is bucking that trend with 3.9% unemployment, which is also much lower than the 6.5% Canadian average. Stable government jobs are a huge part of that. And with the new government here, I don't think that's going to change much. I think Victoria will remain very stable and economically healthy. So if you are planning on jumping in to the detached market, the next few months could be as good a time as any. And I think there's a few deals to be had out there particularly as we near the end of the year and some people may just have to sell. Townhomes are tracking very similarly. Townhomes are interesting because there's not really that many of them and in my mind that will always keep them within a certain demand. Right now, for example, they make up only 8% of the total inventory. The West Shore has a lot more and they're sitting longer, particularly if they only have two bedrooms or smaller square footage. Sanch, for example, is in high demand. I saw an updated townhome in Royal Oak get multiple offers the other day. The rare prizes for both townhomes or detached homes in the core is usually anything 1980s or newer. Lots of 1970s homes and older homes are sitting on the market in all categories from condos, townhomes and detached, but anything newer seems to move pretty fast. People want easy, they want modern open layouts with en suites and they don't want to have to deal with the, you know, exterior siding problems or window upgrades. Another example of this that I saw was in Gordon Head. A 1980s home with a suite, it got eight offers. Now a little bit of good news here for buyers. The winning bid had conditions and was only 5% over asking price, so nothing too crazy. Condos on the other hand are a different story. Detach saw price increases like this at the end of 2023, but condos never really saw that much action. And in the last month they're trending down, whereas we're seeing detached trend upwards. I'm not so confident that we've hit the bottom for condo prices and I wouldn't be too surprised if the medium price dipped below $500,000 again. So one market I always like to keep tabs on is Vancouver. Median detached home prices there are over 2.2 million, whereas condos are about 750K, which is about a third the price of what a detached home is. The delta between the two compared to Victoria is much greater, and I think that means we'll see this divide continue to um, as Victoria starts to develop in a trend that was similar to Vancouver, meaning more condos, a lot more redevelopment and less and less single family homes. What are you experiencing out there? I want to hear your predictions. And if anyone wants to weigh in on what they're seeing in the rental market, please let me know. Anecdotally, I'm hearing that landlords are having a tougher time finding quality tenants. There's a few less applications coming into them. And I think maybe rental prices are cooling down a bit, but it's really hard to get uh, specific stats on this one. So let me know what you're experiencing out there. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.